Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this amazing smiley in the free vector app Gravity Designer. We are working only in the free version of Gravity Designer, so I'm not touching any pro features of Gravity Designer, so don't worry, you can follow along this tutorial. Let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N to bring up a new document panel, and I'm working with the 1366768 pixels. So you go to the website and then choose this website medium size. I already have my canvas because I have my colors here uh, on the top left corner. So let's start with the ellipse. Click E on your keyboard to bring up an ellipse tool and hold shift, hold alt or shift and option on your Mac to start drawing the perfect circle. I need the size of 400 pixels. You can navigate to the top of the inspector panel, your right sidebar, and set the size. Click enter to apply the changes. Don't forget to, uh, to link the keep ratio between uh, widths and heights. Okay, so let's start with this color. I need to grab the body gradient it's very simple liner gradient let me show it to you this is the liner gradient you go to the field you need to select the liner gradient and then you need to arrange the gradient uh, directly on the shape Okay, so our body is ready and we are ready to draw some eyes. Let's grab an ellipse tool again. This time I'm not touching any keyboard shortcut. As you can see, this is my left hand. Uh, as for the size, as for the size, guys, I need to end up with something like 240 on my heights. 240 on my heights and around 180 of my Wait, okay, as for the gradient, this is the radial gradient. So again, you need to head over to the uh, fill and then select the radial gradient from this drop down and uh, arrange these colors as you seen on the image. Uh, a small tip guys, you can define only two colors here. First on the left and on the right. And then sample the color from the left and push it to the right around the position of 80. Uh, percent just like this and this is how you can create this eye and uh, as for the second one you need to just put it here and reduce the size to the width around 120 120 of the width the height will be 155 so it looks decent uh, and we are ready to define the shadows underneath the eyes uh, in order to do this we need to grab another ellipse. So, as you can see, we are working only with the ellipse here today. So, put it uh, here. And then let's go and grab another style, shared style. So, let me introduce you to this gradient. Again, this is the radial gradient. And on the left, you will see CF1F0B. And on the right, you have uh, the two transparent gradient. You'll see all of the colors on the pictures and both of these sliders are transparent guys. And the uh, next one is to, we need to put it, sorry guys, use the shortcut control down arrow or control up arrow to move it on my left stack. As you can see control up arrow, control down arrow on your, move it on the left stack. And then I need to copy the same scene here and again uh, reduce the size of it okay so far so good it looks decent guys and we are ready to draw the mouth uh, as for the mouth I need to grab this color so first grab the uh, ellipse tool draw the mouth so this is the simple plane fill 6b0001 and it also has the border notice it has the border it is the white border, so 3F, uh, with one pixel weight and with the soft light of the blending mode. Pay attention to the blending mode. And with the transparency of 50%. And now we need to uh, draw the chin. Or grab the ellipse, draw the ellipse. With the same share style as for my shadow. So I will start with the, the share style. 
But instead of using the radial gradient, I will use the right line of gradient. And I will arrange he it here, just on my shape. Just like this. As you can see, it looks, uh, works perfectly for me. Okay, and last but not least, we need to draw the pupils. So I need to grab ellipses again. I need to draw a small ellipse and uh, make it let's let's get the starting point here on the brown again and then i want to push it and make it darker uh, i think this 420102 is okay for me then i want to keep it selected make it duplicate with the, by dragging with the alt key or option key reduce the size put it on the top right of your previous uh, original file and head over to the boolean shape operators we need to subtract one shape from another shape so we need to use the subtract boolean shape operator i didn't position it well as you can see i want to reduce it a bit more and then go and subtract one from another one this one looks decent and i'm ready to copy it and reduce it uh, to this eye so far so good, it looks decent. And last but not least, we need to introduce the shadow. Again, I need to grab the ellipse. I need to draw the shadow, the shape, and then introduce this car. Again, as a starting point, we can use these shadows underneath our eyes. So I need to go to the uh, share style, introduce this style, and I need to darken the color, the main color here on the left. So. As you can see, I push the slider over there. And also, I want to introduce more of the transparency. More of the transparency by pushing the transparent slider to the center. Just like this. Let me also put it on the proper position on my layer stack by using control down arrow. I also think we can change the position, the gradient itself. This one looks decent. And finally, we need to draw the highlight. Again, you need to start with the ellipse tool. This one is very simple, guys. Let's reduce it in size. Place it on the top right. This is where the light is coming from. And then go to the uh, radial gradient. And the full gradient is exactly what we need. So we can stop here and then go to the screen blending mode. Introduce the blending mode and reduce the opacity again to 50%. Okay, let's finish our composition by adding the eyebrow. So in order to do this, grab the ellipse tool or click E on your keyboard. Hold shift and dart or shift and option on your Mac to draw the perfect circle. And then go to the field, delete the field, introduce the border, set the border weight to around 7 points. And finally, grab this color. Uh, you can grab it from your mouth. It's the uh, brownish color. And finally, we need to go either to the angles or switch the selection tool to the uh, subselect tool by clicking the D and navigate to this board bullet shape here. So I can uh, redu remove at least half and then cut uh, from both sides. And uh, finally, open the shape go to the advanced border settings and round the ends uh, i can uh, rotate the, uh, the border on one, 180 degrees and head over to there and place it here it looks decent but uh, it needs some changes and in order to do, introduce these changes i i guys need to convert it to the path so convert to path icon just on top of your toolbar and you are able to adjust it with the subselect tool. So again, switch to the subselect tool, point should be removed uh, in the middle and I need to adjust the curve. And finally grab the regular selection tool and uh, do the final changes. I also want to introduce different angle and adjust a little bit the harshness um, the last thing guys i want to adjust the shadows underneath these eyes uh, i think they are a bit harsh so in order to do this i first want to reshape them again we need to convert it to, to the path because then right now they are shapes 
So convert to the path icon, then a subselect tool. And finally, I want to adjust the opacity. I think 50% of transparency or 50% of opacity will, will work well for this type of smiley. And that is it. We are end up with this wonderful smiley. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoy, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, go to vitorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and graphic designer tutorials as well. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.